I might as well sing the Tupac song, Running. The chorus of that. The fucking water fell out, but I am dead. Comparing to Michael Jackson. These motherfuckers won't stop and won't, won't be happy. Even now, he's dead. So as you don't know or already do know, the one thing I have now discovered, I am blown out of my mind. I'm discovering it now, and it's gotten the internet epically pissed. Okay? Some of the people are not taking sides. Some people are not, you know, trying to split sides. They're just trying to say, leave it the fuck alone. I am talking about the documentary that is about Michael Jackson. It's about about these two guys and their parents coming out and saying, you know, he he did this, you know, this happened. People are coming out with allegations saying that he still did this. He still fucking did this. I am blown out of my fucking bed finding this out. I am blown away that people will not leave this the hell alone. <coughs> so many years. It is now about to be 10 years since Michael Jackson's been dead. It is about to be 10 years about that. Last year, Joseph Jackson, Michael's father, passed away. And now since, you know, so many people are like, no, we gotta make this documentary. We gotta expose Michael Jackson. What is there to expose to a guy who is dead? Where? Where in the blue hell is there a reason to prove a guy is guilty now that he is dead? <clears throat> now that most of you are saying, well, do you think it's natural for a grown man to share his bed to children? Look. It's the most unnatural thing on the fucking planet. You know, yes, Michael Jackson was weird, okay? Yes, being the longtime Michael Jackson fan that I am, he was weird. I mean, the guy looked like a half white, half Asian lady. He still was putting makeup on. <clears throat> so, yeah, and yes. Yeah, it's not really his fault, honestly. I'm not saying it was his father's fault, but since his father's dead, I'm gonna uh, leave that be. But now, you know, yes, Michael Jackson was a was a weird person. He was a weirdo. <coughs> Sorry, but yeah, he was a weird person. So what? Okay, he was getting fixed. He was. Getting himself together. Ugh, really cold. But either way, yes, he was a weird person. He was weird, okay? So the man didn't have a nose anymore. But now, guys, I know I made my video, Is Michael Jackson Still Alive? Yes, I know that video has gotten tons. And I mean tons of views. Maybe not a lot of tons of views, but so many people have viewed the video and they're like, you know, yeah, I agree with you that he's still alive. But now, if he was still alive, he'd be like, oh my god, I can't believe people are still doing this. And now, since his father's now dead, he's probably looking down on us and be like, you know, I can't believe people are still trying to find out my son is guilty or something like that. This is just ridiculous. Yeah, Joe. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I mean, god damn. And now let's get down to the guys who... We know who is in this documentary, right? Oh, you don't know? Sorry. It's that same guy that came out in 2013... Who said Michael Jackson was him. Or touched him. Or whatever. You get the idea. Yeah, the same guy who was the exact same person in the trial who came out the same time. Same time as Macaulay Culkin. Same time as those other kids. 
who apparently were young men <coughs> during the time. And now they're now coming out and said they they said this. They said, Oh, he never touched me. Oh, he never did this. Oh, he never did that. And now the same guy who said, you know, Michael Jackson never really touched me at all, but you know, you know, we're still friends. <clears throat> this is the same guy who came in 2013 saying that Michael Jackson did this. And already people are looking at him like he is a piece of fucking shit. They're looking at this guy like he is a piece of fucking shit. And now he's in this documentary and now it's proof that he just wants publicity on this topic. Let me just say this, if you knew Michael Jackson did this, if you knew all this after all these years, I know you're probably saying, well maybe he wasn't ready to talk about this. Hello, the man was going to court. The man was going to court. Does it, you, and you're gonna be like, uh, I'm just not gonna say anything. But I'm gonna say something in the next, few more years, in case if I have to. But even though, this documentary is just nothing. It's proof that they want to bring down Michael Jackson now that he's dead. And now it's just proof. It's epic proof that they want to bring him down. You watch this documentary, don't. I'm telling you this, don't. If you're a big Michael Jackson fan as I am, don't. Just, just don't. Don't even see this documentary. Because all you know what they're gonna try and do, right? They're just gonna try and make you feel. <clears throat> Sorry, I turn up my throat. My throat. They're just trying to make the people who hated Michael Jackson in the past who said. Oh, it was Michael Jackson would die. It was Michael Jackson would epically die. Oh, he just died. Yeah, people who said that's people, these assholes who I remember back in high school who would epically talk shit about Michael Jackson. Just say a whole bunch of dumb shit saying, oh, he should have been, he should have been found guilty. They should have thrown his ass in prison. I went to a school where people were talking shit about Michael Jackson. Okay, I went to that school. All single one of those kids would not stop talking shit about Michael Jackson. They don't understand the word meaning, well, he's innocent until proven guilty. Of course, none of these kids didn't want to believe that because back on topic, you know, like so many people who see this video, see, see this, see this documentary, it's just going to make them hate Michael Jackson. People who've grown up with Michael Jackson over the years, they're just going to be like, oh, I'm, I don't like Michael Jackson anymore because of this documentary. That's what this documentary is going to just do. is make you hate Michael Jackson since he's now dead, since he's now deceased. And yes, I know it's rumored that he's rumored to be alive. But guys, this is just a big, huge thing that these people just want to do. They just want to ruin this man's career. I mean, the family is just outraged. <coughs> the family is just outraged that this documentary about their family member is still being, you know, upon them, honestly. And it's just like, guys, you need to leave the man alone. Like, it's now going about to be 10 years since he's dead. Now, tell me this. Was there any people trying to sue Elvis for anything? I know you were probably saying to yourself that, you know, oh, wait, Elvis wasn't even accused for anything, you know, back in the past. So? When Elvis Presley died, people accepted it. They just left him in peace. When Fer Freddie Mercury died, of course, people were harassing him, and they wanted to find out, you know, is he really gay? Is he, you know, this is... Yeah.
But guess what? People left Freddie Mercury in peace. So many singers, people want to give them shit all because what they... You know, how about if I, if you, you who is watching this, now if, how would you like it if I made a documentary about you when you died and just start talking about, oh, so-so did this, you know, so-so did that, you know, I want to expose so-and-so for what... <clears throat> Like, yeah, you really, would you be okay with that? Of course not. It just, this is just going to just make people just hate on Michael Jackson. And it's just going to make Michael Jackson fans be like, nope, I'm not watching this documentary. Nope. Nope. Sorry. Not watching this documentary. This is just going to hate, make you hate on Michael Jackson. That's what most Michael Jackson fans are doing. They want nothing to do with this documentary. They don't want to hear it. It is it's just allegations. You know what? The man was found not guilty so many years ago, and now people want to bring this back again. Like, not guilty means he was innocent. He went to court, he was, he was convicted, and guess what? They found nothing. He went to court and they found nothing. Absolutely nothing on Michael Jackson. And even if they did find that hidden room in his House? Who gives a shit? I'm about to calm down for a bit because I'm just like, I'm just disgusted that people are still doing this. The fact that so many people want to expose Michael Jackson. The fact that so many people are still going after him. You guys need to be ashamed of yourselves. HBO, you need to be ashamed of yourselves. You really need to be ashamed of yourselves. Because you would have never done this to any other celebrity in the past. Well, I don't think well, any other celebrity. But either way, you know, so many fans are like, nope, I'm not watching this documentary. You can go fuck yourself. I'm boycotting this documentary, okay? If you... Now, if you press the like button on this video and make, just make sure you don't see this documentary, just do that. Completely do that. So either way, guys, that's all I have to say. I love Michael Jackson. I'm not, no stupid documentary is going to make me think that Michael Jackson was a certain thing. Because the man's dead. What the fuck are you going to do to a man who's now dead? Why do you want to convict a man who is now fucking dead? So either way, that's my two cents right there. You know, that's it. Sorry I'm not wearing my sunglasses, but I wanted to be dead fucking serious in this video. Because I'm sick and tired of people doing this when it's now been 10 years, when it's now been so many years since Michael Jackson was alive. And now it's just like, now people are just like, they're just sunking this fucking low. This fucking low completely. So with that being said, vertical spy outro. Fuck that documentary.